up today. Today, you're in for a treat because I'm going to show you the three major breakthroughs that unlock massive growth on Amazon and also how to uncover winning products to sell on Amazon and know with absolute certainty that it's a winning product. I'm going to show you how to scale up winning products to maximize revenue and how to squeeze every penny of profit out of each and every sale. Seth, are we good to go? All good. So um, guys, I'm going to be hanging out with the background with Tracy. Tracy is here with us. Tracy, if you have your mic, you can say hello. I guess hello, Tracy everyone. Is. There he is. So Tracy and I are going to be hanging out in the background, answering questions. So find that chat box and say hello to us now. Sean's going to be going through our brand new content. You're going to love it. Um, but if you have any questions along the way, reach out to us and we will help. So take it away, Sean. Keep in mind that you will not get anything meaningful from today's presentation if you're not paying attention. So please go ahead, silence your phones, close those other tabs that are being annoying, exit social media and pay close attention because you will not get a chance to see this presentation live again. And I guarantee your competition is here and they're taking notes from all over the world, apparently. What I'm sharing with you will give you a massive advantage and is the most profitable thing you could be doing with your time right now so you can feel good about giving me your undivided attention. Let's do a quick poll in the chat box. I want to know about your business. Is your business primarily private label? Are you primary wholesale or are you doing both? Just type it in the chat box real quick there. Uh, Seth, if you want to read off a few of those. Sure. Uh, Ruben's private label, Chad's private label, Sam's private label, uh, Veridaz Dot is private label, Adele private label, Ajay private label, Dominic okay. private label. Mike is both, Oscar's private label, Clinton both. Um, all this right. private label, man, we have Good tons enough. of, uh, private labels. <laughs> I just want to make sure you are my people. I love private label. I love wholesale as well. Uh, but today is going to apply to both. We just like to know if we can specialize some of the questions and, and make those more specific for who you are. So I have a special bonus for you for being here live. Like we always do just for showing up. I want to give you not one, but two gifts right now. I want to give you a free copy of our now best-selling book, private label millionaire secrets. I'm trying to put that on the screen, but my camera's smarter than I am. Private Label Millionaire Secrets. And if you're in the U.S., we're going to mail you a physical copy. If you're outside of the U.S., we're going to uh, send you a, a PDF version via Google Docs. We're also, Seth decided he's going to give you access to our hidden 23 Hacks Amazon Seller Training. So the first of this a free copy of our best-selling book, Private Label Millionaire Secrets. You can download a digital version if you're outside of the U.S. If you want a free physical copy of your book, I need you to send an email to what you see on your screen there. Send an email with your name and your address, your mailing address, to cs at postpurchasepro.com, and Dylan will get one in the mail to you right away. That's cs for customer support at postpurchasepro.com. And then... To get access to the 23 hacks or both of these bonuses, it's easy. You can just go, uh, I'm going to give you a URL and a QR code in a minute, but the secret 23, uh, Amazon 23 seller hacks replay, we did this a couple months back. You cannot get access to this anywhere else unless someone's uh, secretly illegally recorded it. We've removed the repay, replay from public access and it's jam-packed with 23 secret strategies that can give you an amazing advantage on Amazon. You can grab both of those bonuses right here by scanning this QR code or going to pppro.co forward slash live dash bonuses. I'm going to leave that up for a moment. There's no opt-in required. Obviously, you can just consume the content. And if you want a physical copy of the book, you're going to have to email us. Find out everything you need to know about these two bonuses live Okay, at pppro.co forward slash live dash bonuses. And hey, uh, Sean, I just dropped the link right in the chat box for everyone. So if you want to just click that, it's right there for you. Great. All right, let's jump in and show you how to massively grow Amazon sales and profit. You know, profit's more important than sales, right? Almost instantly with three slight shifts that are hidden in your plain sight. My name is Sean Hart, and I want to welcome you to today's presentation. Now, I've privately shared some of our strategies with my friend Jason Fladland. Maybe you know Norm Farrar, Paul Barron, Travis Ziegler, Tim Jordan, Stephen Pope, my Amazon guy, Ryan Moran, Kevin King, and most recently, Jamie Davidson. And what do they all have in common? Well, they were all completely blown away by with what I'm sharing with you today. All right? Now, 
all of these folks are big names in the industry and they all get access to a lot of content. So when they say, hey, guys, this is remarkable, guess what? It's probably remarkable. So let me make you a promise. I'm going to show you why most sellers, just like you, are struggling with flatlining sales and shrinking profits. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how you can permanently fix this almost instantly with three new breakthroughs. We've stumbled upon three breakthroughs in Amazon that completely change everything. With all three of these pieces in place, growth is instantly unlocked that you otherwise would never have been possible for you, right? Look, once we discovered these three breakthroughs, our growth was unleashed, skyrocketing us from 35000 per month, not a bad business, in month one, to over $1 million per month by month 18. The crazy part? is that none of these concepts are ever included in any of the Amazon courses that everyone like you are using to operate your business. These are unique breakthroughs that we pulled from other industries and when applied to Amazon, look like magic. In reality, though, you'll see it's just solid fundamentals that most sellers are unfortunately missing out on. What I'm sharing with you now is the actual guide for making millions of dollars on Amazon. And it's the most powerful strategies we've ever used for sales and growth, profit growth, right? Essentially, today will be broken into three segments. One, how to find the best products to sell. Whether you're adding products to your existing brands or you're just starting out, this will completely change how you look at your business. Next, we're going to show you how to massively scale up your revenue from your existing products. And lastly, I'm going to show you my favorite, how to maximize your profitability in all of your existing sales to transform your business into a cash cow. So let's jump right into the first segment now. Get your pen and paper ready, all right, because I'm gonna show you how to find the best products to sell on Amazon and know, my friend, finally with absolute certainty that these products will be successful for you. I want you to take notes so that you really learn and can implement these strategies to produce the same growth that we've seen time and time again. Let's go breakthrough number one. I love this. Here's the problem. The most successful sellers consistently add winning products to their portfolio, but most sellers make the same mistakes when it comes to building out a portfolio of products to sell. And we were no different than you. Here's what we did. We did a ton of research trying to find the best product to sell. We used software to analyze the opportunities, spent it's tons and tons of time creating and perfecting the packaging and branding. We bought thousands of units, hoping our product would sell like crazy. We launched our product using as much marketing firepower as possible. Were our products successful? Well, sometimes, but not every time. I'm sure you can relate. So what did we do? Here's what we did. We did more research, spent money on more software to analyze, we spent more time creating the perfect packaging, bought even more inventory to do bigger and bigger launches. But somehow our results did not get any better. Everything just got slower. We wasted more time. We wasted more money, more effort, and more potential. Sound familiar? Because not all of our product ideas were successful, we started accumulating more and more slow-moving inventory. And then we literally got hit with a $265,000 long-term storage bill from Amazon. This is what our stupid warehouse looked like when we requested all that inventory back. A nightmare, right? That's Seth's poor brother, Caleb, sitting on the fork truck trying to figure out where to put the next pallet. This rocked our world, of course. And in the middle of all this pain, we had a major breakthrough. We thought, what if? We prioritize speed and data over perfection in the beginning and relied only on real sales data, not guessing from software. We limited our risk by buying small amounts of inventory for testing and only designed beautiful packaging after we proved we could capture demand. We figured out that it takes us about five product tests on average to find one real winner. Now, the average seller might only do five product tests per year, right? Which would likely only lead to one real winning product added to the portfolio. The rest of the products, though, would just be a drag on your expenses and capital. There has to be a better way, right? What if, instead of launching five products per year to find your one winner, what if you could easily, and with very limited risk, 
quickly launch five products per month or even per week. And that's exactly what we figured out how to do. While most sellers were stuck only testing a few products per year and struggling, we figured out that the faster we could test products, the faster we could find winning products to add to our portfolio or build entirely new brands around. This rapid testing supercharged our growth, of course, but there was a huge problem. To pull this off, we decided to split our product development department into two phases, okay? Pay attention here. Our product development department came into two phases. All of a sudden, we had the testing phase, which was completely separate from the launching phase. You see, product testing is only to determine if there is an opportunity. Here, I'll tell you, it's all about proving demand as quickly as possible. It's about failing fast and failing forward. So in the first phase, the testing phase, we order tiny little amounts of inventory to test how easily we can sell the product on Amazon. Only after proving that we can easily attract customers profitably would a product move into the launching phase. This approach, my friend, is completely opposite of how most sellers run their businesses. It was our first major breakthrough because it allowed us to shift from testing a single product idea per month to literally testing one product per day. Yes, one per day. All right, so let's do a quick poll, Seth. I want to know if you're joining me here today. Looks like we're full now. How much money and time did you invest in your first product and test? So if you spent $1,000 and it took you 90 days, just put 1,000 slash 90. How much? I'm talking to you right now. Answer this in the chat box. How much time and money did you invest into your first product test? Seth, what do you have? All right. So several people are filling it in now. We have Julia spent a few thousand and at least six weeks. Um, I think Aldis says he spent $1,000 in 90 days. Um, Abdel spent $20,000. 5,000 from Judd over three months. Uh, Daisy did two years worth at 5K. Oscar spent 20,000 at a year. Um, wow. Rocky spent 30,000. Um, John, uh, it was too long ago, he can't remember. <laughs> You're going to love this. spent at least three months. Um, Don Yal spent 1,500 over 90 days. 2K in 90 days, 5,500 in 25 wow. days. 30K right. in two years. Wow. All right, I get it. You guys are going to love this. All right, so sit up and pay attention. But I have to ask you one more question. How many products, those of you here with me, how many products did you launch before you hit your first big winner on Amazon? Just type a number in the box right now. What do you have, Seth? All right, let's see here. Um, Sparse says 22. John, three. Faisal, five. Um, Abdel, five. Svetlana, four. Dan Danielle, uh, 10. Oscar, five. James, one. Abdul, 10. Well, Aldous James got lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody else right. had to do more. Check this out. What most sellers do is they use what we call the pick and pray method. You spend all this time and energy and, and, and you're afraid to make a decision. You finally pick that one product and maybe you put a thousand dollars into it, right? You pick out a product and you pray that it'll be successful. So here's an example. Let's imagine that you have $1,000 to test your perfect product, which a lot of you said you spent $1,000 in, in a couple of months or three months. So you spend 90 days finding, perfecting, and getting it all ready. You aim the best you possibly can, and you launch your product at the Amazon Target, and you miss. So what? You're out 1000 bucks. But more importantly, my friend, you've wasted three months of your life. But we have something better. This is the always be testing method. The better method, split your $1,000 budget into five possible products, right? Launch them quickly with very little preparation and plain packaging. Get five times the chances to hit a winning bullseye. This is a smarter and faster way to test. It saves time and it saves money. It's called ABT, always be testing. This is a writer downer. In the sales world, people say ABC for always be closing. But in Amazon, you have ABT, always be testing. If you're coasting on the products that you launched a few years ago, Will or Wayne, whoever said they got it right the first time, and you're wondering why your sales and profits keep shrinking lower and lower, you must pay attention right now because this will save your business. Here's a step-by-step how-to, and then I'll break down each step. One, select five products to test. Two, 
order 20 to 50 units per product. Three, create your listing. Four, send inventory to FBA. Turn on your sponsored ads. This is optional. You can use Vine for reviews. We recommend that if you have it in your budget. Six, read the data to determine the winner. And then fully go to the phase two, which is launch your winners. So let's break this down, all right? Select five products that look interesting to you for testing. You can use software if you like, but don't paralyze yourself by overanalyzing. If an idea looks good, test it. That simple. There have been so many examples of Seth and I thinking that products would definitely fail, right? That we knew were going to win and the products uh, being amazingly successful that we knew would fail. It's crazy. We figured out that on Amazon, software and projections cannot be relied upon. You must test to know for sure whether a product will win or not. The idea is to select five products and actually see if you can capture sales on Amazon. That's real data. Step two, order just 20 to 50 units. Order 20 to 50 units. You can order from Alibaba, AliExpress, DHgate, 1688, doesn't matter. We've even gone to the Dollar General store and Walmart to buy products to test. Doesn't matter where you get it. We're saving time. We're saving money, right? Tell the supplier that you want plain packaging, like a plain poly bag with no branding or a plain white box. Remember, you're testing their quality, all right? So say, hey, look, I need 20 to 50 units. We're going to test your quality. We'll get feedback from our customers. And then let them know that you'll place a full order if the feedback is positive. It's a true statement, all right? I have never had a supplier turn me down on this because there's no customization required on their part. They can easily accommodate this for you, even if they have a minimum run. Everyone has an extra 20 to 50 units sitting in the warehouse, maybe even with someone else's brand on it. Just throw it in a plain white box. Step three, create your listing. Create good listings, but don't overspend or overstress yourself. Many times, suppliers even have good photos that you can use or modify to save time and money. Or if you're good using AI, you can even do that. You're going to optimize your listings only after you've already proven demand. Remember, this is about getting real data as fast as possible. Step four, send to FBA. Easy enough, right? FBA listings still have an advantage when it comes to generating sales. Next, you're going to turn on sponsored ads to generate traffic to your listing. Keep it short and simple. Turn on an automatic campaign with a $10 daily budget and an 80 cent bid. If you know the keywords that you'd like to target, then you can create a manual campaign as well. The point, remember, is to see how easily your listings will generate sales in their market. Step six, and my favorite, let's imagine you launched five test products right at the same time. Here's what happened during week one. Product one, nothing. Product two, you got a sale. Product three, sold out. Congratulations, you sold all 20. Product four, you got three sales. Product two, you got two sales. Well, guess which one's a winner? Which product would you want to add to your brand or build a brand around? Of course, it's product number three. So many of you already admitted in the chat box that you tested three or four or five or 10 products before you found your one winner. It's the same for all of us. Imagine putting all of your effort into product number one, struggling every day to try to make it work over 90 days when with just a tiny bit of testing, you could have built an amazing business around product number three that sells easily. This is the data that you can rely on. This isn't projections from software. This is real sales in your account generated by real customers that chose to spend money with you. How much more confident do you think you would be launching product number three, knowing that you can create sales so easily? This is a completely different way to approach Amazon and an absolute game changer for you. Launch the winners. Now that you have proven that you can capture demand with one of your products, you can officially launch it properly. Remember, this is phase two. Phase one, test. Don't take it seriously. Phase two, take it seriously and launch. You can now create a brand new listing, design beautiful packaging, get amazing photos created, and pour all of your effort into a launch. You don't have to use the listing that you use to test it. Just scrap that one, create a new one. The difference is that you're launching with full confidence, already knowing that it's going to sell. Don't waste time, though. Opportunities come and go. 
So make sure that you launch as quickly as possible because you're going to want to strike while the opportunity is there and not let the competition come in before you launch. Is this making sense so far? Do you see how this completely changes your business? So let me ask you, why are you here today? All right. This is just, uh, this is a pulse check, if you will. Are you here just to consume the information that we prepared and do nothing? I don't think so. So let's make this a productive call, shall we? And I want you to commit to taking action. So promise me, if you see something that you think can help you achieve the goals in your business, that you'll take action. In fact, I want you to just type it in the question box right now. Type the words, I promise, if you will be one of the few action takers in this world. And then we'll get started with breakthrough number two. Seth, what do you have? Yeah, so we have Aaron's an action taker. Um, Aldous is an action taker. Uh, just jumping too fast. Mark, uh, Maria, Kimberly, Abdul, um, Clinton, Abdel, Adine, Oscar, Danielle, Julia, Hoffman, Marco, Judd, okay. AJ. Okay. So, okay. so I'm we not just a wasting couple questions my here, Sean. <laughs> One second, though. So right. somebody says, um, or Sam says, how can you test quickly when you would have to get a new mold created that would cost maybe a couple hundred dollars and then you have to wait any, uh, you want to answer that one? Yeah, or you want you know me to? what I want to do? Uh, just stay with me here. It's going to be 60 minutes in and out and I'll answer all the questions when we finish. That way we can keep moving forward for those that Perfect. are on a time budget. Okay. So, so needless to say, I'm not wasting my breath. You folks are already learning something. You can literally take what I've already shown you and break through number one and go implement that and save time and money. Okay, let's talk about breakthrough number two, scaling up revenue. Breakthrough number two is all about how we can scale up our revenue. This is a huge opportunity as well. So pay close attention because I've seen sellers two and three X their business in less than 60 days with this exact strategy. So what do most sellers do once they found a winning product? You've tested five, you got your winner. What do you do? You go out looking for another product to add to your brand. This is wrong. Because once you've found your winning product, you should dominate your niche by cloning your success. What does that mean, though? To clone your success. The fastest way to double your sales is to create a brand new listing selling the exact same product using the exact same strategy that you've just successfully used. Stay with me here. We've 10x our sales using this same process. But how is that possible? Well, let me show you. Every single position in search results on Amazon is worth a certain amount of sales, right? Every day. So if you're selling thermometers like this and you had just one listing on page one, then you will capture sales. But so will all of your competitors listing that are taking up different positions in the search, right? So let's say that each position in search for the keyword thermometer is worth about $1,000 per day in sales. How many of these listings would you want to own? The answer, as many as possible, right? So if this was your brand, what do you think would happen to your sales if you owned all of the listings in this position, right? All, everything on page one. Do you think your sales would go up? They absolutely would increase because you have much higher likelihood of getting clicked on. Think about your Amazon listings, like taking up a spot on a retail shelf. The more space you take up on the shelf, the more likely the customers will notice your product and buy yours, right? But what if your products took up the entire aisle? Your sales would shoot up dramatically. And that's exactly what we're going to do on Amazon right now. We have literally 10 x our sales using this exact same strategy by cloning our listing 10 times. This took our sales from 30K per month to over 300,000 per month. We call this process creative cloning. Here's a step-by-step -step how to do it, and then I'll break down each step. One, sell more of the exact same product with the same packaging by creating a brand new listing. That is a new ASIN with a new UPC in the same brand. We're going to use new photos, new titles, new bullets, new description, so the listing looks different. Use the same strategy you've already proven successful. So let's break it down. You're going to create a brand new listing with a new ASIN and a new UPC. This will not be a variation of your other listing. This will be a standalone listing that will take up another position in search. You already know the best keywords to use, and you already have the best supplier. You already have inventory. You simply re-sticker over the existing barcode, and presto, you have 2x more sales. There is another way we can use this strategy, though. 
after you've cloned your success, you can start looking for even more opportunity within your same market. So we niche down. By niching down, you can target one specific customer avatar with your listing. This allows you, this allows your conversion rather to be incredibly high. Why? Because you're only speaking to one very specific customer, filling their very specific need, and only target very specific keywords with that listing. Look at the real world example here, okay? You can see in these three examples of Tylenol Extra Strength Coated Tablets, Tylenol Rapid Release, and Tylenol Extra Strength, you can see Tylenol, which is a household brand name in the U.S., has been using creative cloning for a very long time. They're positioning their product to appeal to different types of customers with the language and messaging, but their actual product is the same. They're all just 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, right? I don't care if it's for migraine, for a backache, for a toothache, doesn't matter. Tylenol gets to take up more shelf space, or in our case, search term results space, and then they get to better serve their customers by calling out specific customers with each positioning. Imagine you walk into your local drugstore and you have a migraine headache. You immediately in the Tylenol shelf, just go look. They take up all of the real estate on the shelf. All those red boxes all positioned differently. You see something that screams Tylenol migraine. Guess which one you're going to buy. This results in dramatically higher conversion rates for each one of these products that is targeting a specific type of customer. Does this make sense to you? You should identify exactly who you can target and the language patterns those customers are most attracted to. You should always look to see if there's a sub niche where you can narrow your focus and more specifically target a single customer avatar. Here's another example, something as simple as a razor, right? Razors are designed to shave your skin and remove hair, right? But would you speak to a lady shaving a bikini line the same way you would maybe a man shaving his face or a lady shaving her underarms? They're all the exact same product, but the positioning, the bullets, the description, the images are all unique, speaking to that specific need of a customer. Here's another example. What if you sold dog leashes? Here's a trick that you can use to find all the sub niches to build a listing in. All right. If you're selling crayons, go to Amazon and type in crayons for, and you'll find all the sub niches. Pillows for neck pain, for couch, for side sleepers, for bed, for neck and shoulder relief. Pizza cutter for non-stick pants, for kids, for arthritis. You get it? Lamp for living room, for bedroom, for desk, for nightstand. Look at this. Vitamin C for kids, for face, for dogs, for guinea pigs. Really? Guinea pigs? Supplements for, let Amazon do the work. They will automatically show you the suggested search terms. Supplements for dogs, for men, for women, for anxiety, for leg cramps, for weight loss. A hairbrush for men, for curly hair. You get the idea, right? A jump rope for kids, for men, for women, for fitness, for tall men like me. Or a dog leash for two dogs, for small dogs, for yard dogs, for large dogs. You get the idea? Let's take large dogs, for example. Then you can go over to Google and type in large dogs, right? And you can take the niche that you discovered on Amazon and drill even deeper and often more profitable with sub-niche categories. If you search on Google, you can see that there are 45 easily targetable dog breeds that we already found on Google within a few seconds. So imagine you had 45 listings on page one, two, and three. You had a listing specifically for Bull Mastiff, for a Terrier, for a Chinook, for Dalmatian, for Collie, for Boxer, for German Shepherd. Each individual listing would be positioned with that particular dog. Which one's going to speak to you? Well, it depends on what kind of dog you have, right? Here's why this works. You're speaking directly to one customer at a time, which allows you to charge more, convert higher, rank better, make more profit, take up more real estate on page one. That's the ultimate goal. Now, you might not have considered this yet, but it's true. You can only capture so much market share by having one listing in a niche. As you add different listings that position the product differently, you'll capture more of the search term results on the page, and therefore you'll end up with a lot more sales. So maybe you're asking, Sean, this is against terms of service, isn't it? No, it's not, because you're the brand owner. As the brand owner, you, my friend, get to decide what is considered a different product simply by assigning that product a new UPC. Look at these two different shoes from Nike. Do you think Amazon's opening the boxes and saying, hey, these shoes look too much alike? No, 
They simply recognize it as a new product because Nike assigned it a new UPC. And the same applies to your business. Maybe you're asking yourself, won't I be competing with myself? Absolutely not. Look, your competition is competing with you every single day, right? Why not you hold an extra position and compete with yourself, but capture a lot more sales? Nike knows that taking up more shelf space at the finish line store is going to net them more sales, even though the shoes look similar. Tylenol also knows that the more options they have on the shelf, the more chances to grab a buyer's attention for a specific need. Think about this. You've already done the research on your product. You have a supplier. You have keywords. You already have photos and packaging, and you know exactly how to launch this product. Simply copy what you already know and double your business, hence the name Creative Cloning. Clone your success. This is a massive opportunity that most sellers will completely ignore, not only because it's too simple, because you're always focused on finding another winner. Dominate your existing niche first before you move on to test five more products. Do you think it's too simple? Will you ignore this opportunity and leave all of those sales for your competition to capture? I hope not. Let me know in the chat box right now if you're going to take action on this by typing yes. Type yes and then Seth will read those off as I recap. Now you've already discovered how to find products that you know with certainty will sell using our ABT always be testing method. You'll then scale up your revenue by cloning your successful listings, taking up more space in search results. Now you have a lot more customers buying from your business, but you're missing out on the biggest opportunity of all. Seth, what do you have? Yes, we have a lot of action takers in the house today. Let's scroll back through. We have Andrew, we have Drew, um, Julia, Lara, or Lara, um, Adin, Marco, Oscar, AJ, Daniel, um, Juan, Aaron, Naomi, Muhammad, uh, Joan, Clinton, Kimberly, Olga, Lori, Cedric, David, Hoffman, that's funny. <laughs> David Hall. Yeah. Oscar, uh, Maria, and, um, Andrea, Andrea, Sheeta, Richard. Okay, Sean, they're keep coming in, but keep going. <laughs> All right. Well, let's jump into breakthrough number three so I can stay on schedule here. Now we are at the most important part of today's session about maximizing profitability. Remember, you already found the best products with certainty, right? You already know they sell before you launch it. And you know how to scale up your revenue and squeeze every bit of sales that you can from the search results on Amazon. Now, how do we maximize profitability? All right. Today's session is going to end on this profitability. It's last, but it's definitely not least. This is where you turn sales into profit that you can keep. This is by far the most crucial part of this entire process. You see, breakthrough number three is about making sales not only easy, but profitable. Don't ever focus on sales. You want to focus on profit. How much money do you have in your pocket at the end of the day? Hopefully that's more than you had at the end of yesterday. Right now, I'm going to prove to you that the most profitable companies in the world put an insane amount of effort into creating repeat orders and why this is probably the biggest opportunity you're ignoring right now. Why do most sellers, why do most sellers fail to make much profit? core profitability struggles right here in front of you. Sellers are focused on the most expensive part of the marketing funnel, which is what? It's new customer acquisition. This is why most sellers fail. You're paying for exposure to attract new prospects to buy your product for the first time. Maybe using sponsored ads or some external paid traffic, doesn't matter. And the sellers are completely ignoring all of the customers that they've already served. Why are repeat orders so valuable? Well, according to Constant Contact, in this report, repeat customers spend more money. They're easier to sell to. They cost you, new customers cost way more than repeat customers, and repeat customers promote your business. Businesses are built on customer retention. So what happens to your Amazon business profitability with an additional purchase? Let's break it down. Let's imagine you make a sale for $20, and you make a $3 profit after all the expenses like fulfillment, advertising, cost of goods, etc. $3 out of 20. Okay? Now, let's assume that you had to spend $6 in advertising to create that sale. So if you produced an additional sale without the cost of advertising, the total profit on the second sale would be $9, right? Which is three times more because you have no PPC cost. Are you with me? That means that your profits go from a total of $3 to 
to a total of $12 from that same customer. That is a massive difference. Would you agree? So if you make one sale to each one of your customers, like most sellers do, then you make $3 in profit, right? Total profit, three bucks. But if you make just one additional sale to that customer over time, your profit jumps from $3 to $12. That's a 4X growth in profit from only one additional sale. And if you only sold two additional items to that same customer over time, then your profit would shoot up to $21 because you're not spending any additional money on sponsored ads to create these sales because sending email messaging is nearly free. Look what happens to your profit by selling your existing customer only three additional units over time. It jumps all the way up to $30. As you can see, there's a giant difference between selling a customer once or a few times. In this case, selling three additional products to the same customer over time grows our profit by 10x. Most sellers are constantly seeking to slightly improve their PPC so that they can make an extra 50 cents per customer. Boring, what you really should be focused on is selling the same customer again. Almost every highly profitable company on the planet relies on repeat customers for most of their profit, and your business should be no different. But it gets even better. Your existing customers, my friend, are the most likely people in the world to buy from you again, whether the same product or another product in your brand. When you can sell to the same customer again, you don't have to pay for any advertising, so you're not wasting your profit on sponsored ads. And by sending your customers back to your Amazon listing, this also triggers a strong signal from Amazon to rank your products higher in keywords ranking because this traffic is coming from an external source which creates even more sales, right? Higher ranking, more sales. This completely changes the game of building businesses on Amazon. So maximizing your profit is about turning all of your customers into repeat purchasers, right? Because getting new customers is often the most expensive way to create sales for any business. Most sellers are wasting almost all of your time and all of your profit on sponsored ads in an effort to find new customers. But really... Each sale has something extremely valuable hidden behind it. A customer. Most sellers forget this. But customers that come back and buy from you again are the biggest source of profit you'll ever have. So at the top of this graphic, you can see that each sale should lead into a customer opting into your list to claim an amazing offer coming up, which will result in more reviews, higher keyword ranking, more traffic, and even more sales. Now for the obvious question. What's the best way to create repeat orders? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's see what Amazon says. From Amazon's very own reporting, they show that email marketing has the highest conversion rate by far. It does more than twice as good as every other traffic source. This is what happened for us. We used to be just like you. We only focused on attracting new customers on Amazon. We invested heavily in making our Amazon listing stand out, and we tried every method to outshine our competitors. But I learned the easiest way to drive more sales is to sell more to our existing customers. Remember, I told you breakthrough number three is about making the easiest and most profitable sales. These are also known as repeat orders or cross-selling. Selling more to past customers significantly increases profits. Customers prefer buying from familiar brands and companies. It's hard to switch from one brand that you trust and like Take Samsung or Apple, for example, whether you use an Apple phone or a Samsung or Android, how hard would it get? How hard would it be for me to get you to switch to the other brand if you've been accustomed to buying your phone from Apple? You're much more likely to buy another phone from Apple than you can from any other brand, right? Your customers on Amazon are no different than you and I. They also prefer to do business with brands that they already trust, like yours. We just simply make it easy for our past Amazon customers to buy from us again. The easiest sales to make are to those who already trust your brand. People often rebuy or recommend products they like. As consumers, we too regularly return to trusted products on Amazon. How many times in the last 30 days have you went and purchased the same product again or sent the link to a friend or colleague and say, hey, this is exactly what I bought. Go buy you one. We'll offer our past customers special deals to buy again, and we use emails and text SMS to reach our Amazon customer list. People will rebuy from the same brand over and over again. 
and it's easier to rebuy a known product than to go research a new one, right? Focusing only on new customers is like looking for a new career every day. You would never do that. Optimizing your listing on Amazon is fine, but your profit will come from selling to your existing customers over and over. Think about it. If you had a physical storefront down on Main Street, would you truly expect to only have one transaction with each person who walks in? Of course not. That's absurd. You're smart, so you try to nurture each customer to get them to come back again and again. This is no secret. This is called a business. And my question, why should your Amazon business be treated any different? This approach has been the key to our Amazon success for over a decade. We've identified three core misbeliefs for Amazon sellers. One, you believe that the best way to make more money is to attract new customers to your Amazon listing. But the reality is the best way to make more money and more profit, right, is to sell your existing customers more products. Maybe you believe that customers who are already shopping on Amazon at this moment are the best source of new traffic that you have. When in reality, the best source of buyer traffic is your existing customer contact list because it costs you nothing to get your old customers to come back again. Maybe you believe that you have to continue spending more and more money on sponsored ads or keyword ranking to create more sales. But the reality is, I want you to understand that you should only use paid ads in order to attract customers into your funnel, not so that you can sell them one time, no, 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 but so you can create a customer for life and lower your ad cost over time. Now, here's my step-by-step -step how to. One, give your Amazon customers a very good reason to share their contact information with you at the point of unboxing. Two, Use a mafia offer inside your packaging that screams, do this now, because it's so valuable they cannot say no. Three, collect customer emails when they claim your valuable offer. And finally, deliver value and lots of it. So let's take a look at step number one, shall we? Give your Amazon customers a very good reason to share their contact information with you at the point of unboxing. What you're going to do is create a mafia offer that rides along inside your packaging and screams, do this now. This offer must stand out. Think about this. You would never pay to advertise your business on the back of this park bench, would you? No one would see it. Now, Nike Shoes offers a free app download through a QR code, right? Major consumer package goods and other national household brands packaging always include contact information. What if you bought a coffee maker with a warranty registration? Video instructions so your customers know how to use your product. Easy, once you think about it, right? Step two, use our famous mafia offer. I gave you a copy of our book. I don't think you can see this. Here we go. I'll put it in front of me. Private Label Millionaire Secrets, Chapter 5. The most profound chapter in the book will show you exactly how we create mafia offers. So make sure you download that. It's a free gift for you today. Look, your offer must provide so much value that your customers simply cannot say no. We like to use curiosity and value to stand out. Ask yourself, what would your customer most likely need immediately before or after they purchase your product? Well, it's simple when we break it down for you. You're going to print your offer in an easy to read way. And then, <laughs> pardon me, little throat spray there, magical. You're going to use only the most effective keywords or most effective words in your, in your print. Sorry. You're going to create curiosity where possible and then be specific and valuable. What exactly am I getting? And is that value more than I expected? Tell them exactly what to do to take action. Look, every single Amazon product serves a unique customer. So to create an offer that converts, you must think about your customer's perspective and you must put yourself in the mind of your customer at the time of opening your packaging and ask this question. What offer would be so compelling that my customer would drop everything they're doing right now and take action on the offer immediately? A mafia offer is an offer so good people would feel stupid saying no. We like to use first-in-line access to product launches, valuable digital content, product replacement programs, customer service, safety videos, instructional videos, complimentary bonus products, newsletters, app downloads, the sky's the limit here. It must be relevant to your customer and their purchase. 
And then we also throw in a few psychological triggers to boost conversion, like urgency, offer in soon, or scarcity, very limited availability, value, the bonus is worth X. What about reciprocity? Give, give, give way more than they expect without the expectation of a return. And social proof, show others results with your product or others using your product because, let's face it, no one wants to be the first one or the only one. And curiosity, this is huge. What would happen if this? Or I wonder what this is. And then finally, authority, like endorsed by American Heart Association or has the good housekeeping seal of approval. Look, these two ride-along messages, one offers a valuable 24-hour recorded message, and the other is a lottery ticket style of insert that allows customers to scratch off to see what they've won. Imagine if I scratch off a lottery ticket, or if a scratch off lottery ticket, <coughs> pardon me, fell into your lap out of the product when you were opening it. Would you scratch it? Of course you would. Who could resist the curiosity of seeing if you're a winner? This combines curiosity, value, and urgency. These types of messages cannot be ignored, but don't expect to create opt-ins by simply offering a warranty or a discount. It's not compelling enough, and if you tried this in the past, then you know that most of your customers simply won't act on a weak offer. Because we were like you. We were getting about 1% opt-ins in the beginning, but when we got this stuff right, we're seeing 88% in some cases. Yes, 88%. Step three. Collect customer emails when they claim your valuable offer. You must collect an email address and or a phone number if you want to be effective at this. Immediately send whatever value you promise through email to show that you're trustworthy and dependable. Keep your list clean and engaged. Step four, deliver value and lots of it. Deliver valuable content to your customers. That's simple, right? You can send them how-to guides, tutorials, tips and tricks, reminders, or discounts. Here's a bonus step. Create a WhatsApp group with your customers for polling. You want to make product testing and, and breakthrough number one easier? This is all you have to do. Give your customers an opt-in the ability to join your private WhatsApp group. You can put this on your thank you page or in your follow-up email. It's a simple link. This is another marketing channel that you and only you own and control forever. Some of you are here today because of one of our WhatsApp groups. You can use these groups to poll your contacts about new launches. Here's an example. This is a thank you page. Once you look at the 23 hacks that I shared with you, you're going to have an invitation to click the link to join a private WhatsApp group. We have several of these groups. This group alone has 884 sellers just like you. And just a few days ago, I launched this poll about a new course we were working on, and you can see I had an overwhelming amount of yeses versus I had 62 yeses and two noes out of this one group. This is something that we can all relate to, okay? Have you ever walked into a restaurant, all right, and you felt like you were being completely ignored? I mean, you're a customer, for God's sakes. You're there to spend money, and no one's giving you any attention. I think we can all relate to this one, right? But how is this different? What if you go to a restaurant and you're ignored, or you go to a different restaurant and the, the manager or the owner himself comes out and introduces you and welcomes you back, right? What if the chef comes out and gives you samples of some new dish that he's working on, and the maitre d' comes out and talks to you and asks questions about your recent wedding? Or what if they they invite you to, to bring friends to uh, an exclusive offering for some new wine or some new dish that they're promoting, right? These are definitely different types of experiences, right? Which one do you want to feel like? Do you want to feel like you're the guy being ignored? Or do you want to be the gal that's being waited on and served? That's all we're doing on Amazon. We're treating our customers like humans, like we want to be treated. And when you get this stuff right, you can take control of your future and create a much more valuable business. You can quickly and easily duplicate your success. Your customers will be much happier. And of course, at the end of the day, you end up making a lot more profit. Here's what most sellers do, though. You create a sale on Amazon, and then you immediately go out looking for new customers using sponsored ads or the latest ranking hacks. And you forget about the most valuable part of your business, your customers. Here's what your business should look like. 
you create a sale on Amazon, you make a little money. Maybe you send a follow-up message, you make another sale. Maybe you offer a coupon or a shareable offer through SMS, you make another sale. And then you send them a thank you letter with a coupon code and you make another sale. Look at this. This is the magic. Everything that happens here after the initial purchase is the most important. This is called post-purchase marketing. Later, after we discovered this, we found out, and the data still proves today, that the product that your customers most likely to buy from you is the product that they already bought. And if you really think about it, that fact changes everything, right? The reason most sellers are failing to make much profit is because they're ignoring their customers. They are failing because they are spending most of their profit on sponsored ads, and they're failing to use any post-purchase marketing systems at all. How about you? What about you? Are you doing everything that you can to maximize your profits by selling to your existing customers over and over? What are you doing in your business right now to create repeat orders and cross sales? Let me ask you a question. Would you agree? Now that you have a foolproof way to launch and test new products without risk and uncertainty with our always be testing formula, and you now have a way to scale your products to dominate every niche that you enter using our creative cloning, the last piece and most important of your business would be to create more sales from your past customers because this is where all the profit is. What would happen, my friend, if we were able to use all of our knowledge, resources, and experience and accept full responsibility for your success, build out your entire post-purchase marketing system, and use every teeny tiny component of our post-purchase marketing strategies to create tons of repeat orders, cross-sales, ranking, reviews for you, and then simply hand you the end results with absolutely no effort on your part at all. That would make a huge difference, wouldn't it? You do agree with this, don't you? Just type yes in the question box if you agree. In all honesty, the advice that I'm giving you right here today is the exact same advice that I give my own children. Your business currently looks like this. You create a sale on Amazon, you make some money, and then what? Crickets. You do absolutely nothing with the customers you've just spent all that money and time to acquire, and you go out looking for new customers, paying dearly for more sponsored ads, which drains away most of your profits. Here's what your business should look like if you were doing your post-purchase marketing correctly, right? We can build out 100% of your post-purchase marketing for you, which will create tons of repeat orders, better keyword ranking, and a lot more profit because you pay virtually nothing for every additional sale that you make from email marketing. Now, fair warning, I'm going to share with you a way to have all of this post-purchase marketing built and deployed completely for you with no effort on your part at all, and with such a ridiculous offer that you might literally be clinically insane not to say yes. But today's much different, my friend. Don't you go anywhere or you'll miss something truly extraordinary. In other words, I'm going to make this decision so simple for you that you have to be insane not to say yes because the value that this will add to your business is so enormous and your investment will be so little, it makes this a no-brainer decision. Because post-purchase pro... We are the only done-for-you complete A to Z marketing service built specifically for Amazon sellers by Amazon sellers. And right now, for the first time since last year, September 2023, our program has been completely full and unavailable for almost four months now. But that all changes right now at this moment. And you, my friend, are in the right place at the right time. We're looking for just a few serious sellers to work with. Today, I'm giving you an opportunity to talk with us directly about our strategies, the strategies that have completely changed the way top Amazon sellers are doing business around the world. But before we get into the details, I must admit something to you. We have never, ever been able to successfully help a seller that sells poor quality products. I've literally failed every single time. So if your products have three-star review rating or less, I'm sorry, I can't help you. All right, you just need to go create better products. I just want to get that out of the way and be honest about it, all right? So I don't waste any of your time. But if you are like me and you sell products that people like, I'm 100% certain that we can add massive value to your business, regardless of what you sell or what category you're in. Because as long as people like your products, I have never failed at this one time. If that sounds fair enough, let me explain further. 
The hard truth is, is that the real value in your business is not the product that you sell. It's in the customers that you serve. And without a real relationship with your existing customers, you're simply forced to depend 100% on Amazon for your buyer traffic through search term ranking and PPC sponsored ads, killing your profit margins. You don't have to just take my word for it, though. Look what Leonard says, or another five-star review from Eddie. You know, Amazon continues to change. Mike says, great marketing service. These guys really know the Amazon marketing, and they're uh, very focused on making it successful and always coming up with new programs. Five-star reviews from Chad. Five stars from Danny. Five stars from Warren. These are all on Google, folks. This is Google. I'm not making this up. Stacy, these guys are awesome. They're truly experts at making me more sales. Alex says five stars. Paul gives five stars. Fantastic job, guys. By the way, the keyword uh, for my porcelain soup bowl has been boosted to page one. Quite good. These are my sales day over day, right? At their highest point ever. We keep getting more orders. My PPP, that's Post Purchase Pro, keeps bringing orders for us and more reviews, working very well. All right, this guy says, we sold out of our surplus of inventory because the launch happens or works so well. Yesterday, we're over 300% increase day over day. My experience is great proof, and it goes on and on. Go check it out yourself. There's five-star reviews, another five-star review, five stars from Natural Hair Care Company, another five stars from e-commerce. Tahir loves it. Abraham loves it. These things are coming from everywhere. Sam loves us. Gerald loves us. And here's an overview of what we do for you. We do high converting product marketing inserts, your brands, right? To build a real email list and S or a real email and SMS list. We create this for you, the mafia offer. We do email and SMS collection funnels, created, managed, and hosted. You don't have to touch it. TOS compliant customer opt-ins, custom professionally written follow-up emails, sent for all of your products and continual email marketing. We call it monetization marketing that drives sales, ranking, and reviews. We do, we'll warm up any current list that you already have and monetize it for you. We'll send ongoing monthly emails, unlimited product launches for your products, customer email list management. Remember, you don't have to touch this stuff. Email service provider management, monthly reporting showing the results that we're doing. Look, here's the truth. This looks like a lot of work and a huge headache because it is a lot of work and a huge headache. But don't forget, we do all this completely for you. You don't have to touch it. All done for you on your part, right? Look at this chart shows our average seller's growth over 24 months. And we've been doing this for over three years now. As you can see, this type of marketing grows exponentially once it's started. But guess what? Your cost stays the same. Now, remember this? I asked you about an hour ago. If you see something that looks like it can help you achieve your goals, that you'll take action, and you promised. So right now, right now is the time to take action. Hundreds of clients around the world can't be wrong, right? What we do works. It's very, very hard to teach, but it's easy for us because we've done it for over 1,000 of our own products. No joke. I've created something truly extraordinary that you can only get on this special webinar. In the past, We've charged between $4,000 and $10,000 every month for this exact service, and we have hundreds of happy clients. But even though it's worth what others are paying, you have access to something extraordinary today, okay? What do I mean? What about the pricing? To have us create and manage all of your post-purchase marketing, it would range between $900 and $20,000, depending on how many products and brands how many segmentations we do, and the complexity of your marketing needs. It would be impossible to allow you to join Post Purchase Pro without seeing if you're a good fit. It requires a quick phone call to find out more about your specific business. Who is this for? A seller, as this is you, right? Do you want significant growth? Are you tired of shrinking profits? You want to stop flushing all your profit down the drain on sponsored ads? You're ready to build your customer list and your brand into something valuable? Who wants to launch products on demand, boost keyword ranking, and wants to create repeat orders and cross sales? You want to increase your profit margins and cash flow? I don't care if you're private label or wholesale. This works. If you take me up on today's exclusive invitation, I'm also going to give you an instant $500 credit to use for Post Purchase Pro. To take advantage of this exclusive invitation, though, 
and receive your $500 post-purchase pro credit, you must be one of the first 50 to book a call with us because we're capping it. What's the call going to be about? Good question. For the first time since September last year, we're open to work with new sellers like you who are looking to get strategic post-purchase marketing set up inside your business to produce the growth that you've been looking for, not only in revenue, but in profit. We've done this for over 1,000 other sellers successfully in almost every category imaginable. So on the call, we can easily identify what kind of opportunity you have in your business. We will talk to you about your business and your goals to determine whether your brand is a good candidate for working with us. No obligations. Let's just chat about you and your business. You can decide if working together is a good move for you. The good news is that we can do all of this work for you to start producing big results in your business. You want to find out if your business is a good fit for us to set up and manage all your post-purchase marketing? Well, here's the truth. We can't do this for everyone all at once. So we only have a limited amount of calls available for this exclusive webinar offer. And as you can see, that number is set at 50 as we're speaking. So in a few minutes, you smart action takers out there that promised me you take action on this call, you're going to start snatching up these limited call spots. All right. No obligation calls. And when all the 50 spots are taken, you're going to see this screen, unfortunately. And when you do, that means that we're booked up and you will not be able to get in for who knows how long. We can only talk to so many sellers at a time. So this is truly a limited invitation. So go find out if your business is a good fit for us to set up and manage all your post purchase marketing at pppcall.com. Book a call right now to claim these bonuses, all right? I prepared some bonuses in true Sean Hart style. I prepared two crazy valuable bonuses worth $4,000, all right? that are available for you sellers who grab one of these call slots while the webinar is live today, only while we're live, all right? So here we go. Oh, looks like somebody already booked one of those spots. So uh, the support team on the back end, I want you to count these down live. This is a simple form, guys. If you're familiar with Calendly, you're going to go here, and you're going to book one of these coveted calls. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free. We're going to have 50 of these available. And when they're gone, they're gone. So you can book your call with us. No obligations, no charge at pppcall.com. Find out more about our strategies. If those strategies are good for your business, your product, your niche, your category, so on. If not, no harm. You get some great coaching and some advice on our strategies. And then we remain friends, right? But if it is a good fit, then we'll make you an offer to work with you. And it's up to you and only you to decide if that works. Seth? We're going to count these down live. So uh, Dylan and Tracy on the back end, as these calendar invites come in, I want you to just keep this going. Uh, when we get down here a little bit, I'm going to switch over, Seth, and I'm going to share these two $4,000 worth of bonuses that we provided only for those who book a call on this uh, webinar live. Seth? Camera, please. Yes, Sean, I've been uh, I've, <laughs> I've been vigorously typing away here in the chat box, guys. I just dropped the link in the chat box. I dropped the direct link there for you. It's a Calendly link. That pppcall.com link is a redirect. It takes you directly to our calendar. Like Sean said, you're not going to spend any money today, but you are going to get a $500 credit, and you are going to get access to these bonuses that we're getting getting ready to unveil as long as you get one of the 50 spots. Now, here's the thing. You must show up for your call. If you just book the call and bail out, um, then you know there's no there's no value transaction at all, right? So you have to show up to get the value. Um, we are going to take a look at your specific business to see if you're a good fit for Post Purchase Pro. Make sure that we can really do a good job for you. So a lot of people are asking, um, you know, will this work for my business? Uh, you know, will this work for this particular product? That's what the call is about to look at your brand, to look at what you already have going on and your category and your products and see if we have, um, some experience in that area. Like Sean said, we've helped more than 1000 sellers do this. So we can tell you very, very quickly what the opportunity is going to look like for you. And that is the point of the call. Hey, Seth, um, let right. me interrupt you just for a second. I want to shift gears guys. Once we get, uh, I want to show what these bonuses are. It looks like we have 38 uh, calls or 37 rather call spots available. These are very limited. When we get down to zero, it's zero. We don't have room for you on the calendar. So it's first come, first serve. The sooner you go to pppcall.com, 
the earlier the calendar uh, uh, availability you'll see. Let's jump over, guys. Uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. But, Seth, I want to jump over and look at these bonuses. I'm going to let you explain this. So, all right, here you go. So only if you're one of the first 50 uh, to book a call during this live webinar, this fast action bonus number one is Audience Alliance, a value of $2,000. Seth, I know this is one of your favorite things to riff on, so go for it. Yes. So um, a long time ago, guys, we uh, figured out that if we could find people that already owned our audience, that it was the easiest thing in the world to sell products if they would just promote it for us. So for instance, we found a lady who ran a Facebook group that was filled with a bunch of moms who were into improving their lives. Okay. The very first thing that we ever did with um, the owner of this group was we had her promote one of our products. In this case, it was a pillow. And boom, after one post um, of an email to her list, we generated an extra $20,000 in sales immediately. So we got this idea, hey, what if we have all these hundreds of clients? What if we could um, orchestrate this internally? And what this looks like is, say, let's imagine that Sean is selling um, oven mitts and I'm selling, um, oven pans, right? So we're selling to the same customer, somebody who's, who's cooking in the home and is buying products for that process. We have the same customer avatar, but we are selling different products. So, so with audience Alliance, what we do is we form a temporary Alliance between brands and we will cross promote the products for you. So as an example, my product would be promoted to Sean's list of customers and they would buy my product and vice versa. I would promote to um, my list of customers selling his product. So it's like free traffic and it's the best kind in the world because we know um, who is actually on the list and we know that they're highly likely to convert for that specific type of product. Now, what the great thing is that it's free, number one. The best thing is that you can do this over and over again with different sellers in our um, group of clients and it creates ranking and it creates sales and all this goodwill, right? So it's an amazing program and you can get access to it. It's normally $2,000 per month, but you can get this as a free add-on um, just for booking your call as one of the first 50. You're not paying anything today. All you're doing is booking your call to see if post-purchase pro um, can even help you, right? So we have to look at your business and make sure we can help. And then we'll take a look and say, okay, um, how big of a job is this? What is this going to cost for you? You know, like um, a lot of people are asking in the chat box, what does this cost? Well, we don't know yet because we don't know any, how many brands you have. We don't know how many products you have. We don't know the complexity of the build out yet. So but first of all, we, we just need to have a call. 900 to 20,000, right? So it's between, somewhere between nine hundred and twenty thousand dollars is uh, is the range. But like I said, it's going to be depending on how complex, how simple, how many brands, how many products, um, et cetera. Right. So and that's we're not going to collect any money one. on the call. It's just no. to explore what the opportunities are, see if you're a good fit. Let me show you this next fast action bonus. Uh, another one worth two thousand dollars. Thank you very much. There we go. Um, so only if you take one of these first fifty. I think the last time I checked, there were thirty eight uh, spots left. Then you're also going to get this. This is Amazon customer order data. This is historical order data. Name, address, right? No phone numbers anymore, right, Seth? Um, we can get phone numbers, but that's just one okay. more step. But you'll get the okay. name and the and the physical address. So explain why is this worth two thousand dollars and what can this do for me? Yeah. So the first thing that people um, start thinking about when they realize how important um, having a customer list is and how valuable generating repeat orders is, they say, "Oh shoot! Well, I don't really have." A customer list. I don't really have an email list. What can I do? Well, we build it several different ways. Um, like the example that we gave with that creating an amazing insert that captures attention. That's a, that's one way. But in this bonus, we have another way. We can actually look into the past of your account inside of Amazon. You can't see this when you log in, but through an API access, you can actually um, get access to the data that's hidden in your account associated with every order. So let's imagine that you wanted to look at like the last 30 days worth of sales. You have maybe we'll call it 1000 orders over the last 30 days. Okay. So that means that you have 1000 customers inside of your Amazon account that we can go in through the API and extract their customer name and their customer mailing address, which is really cool because if you have that data, you can use a process called data point matching, also known as email appends. You can Google it, but essentially you can go out there and associate a real email address with every single one of those 
um, customers that are in the public domain. So let's, um, on average, that's going to be about 40%. So out of the, the last 30 days, you had 1,000 um, orders, you have 1,000 customers, we could find for you about 400 emails instantly to add to your list. Now, the cool thing is we can get that data continually. So as we go through the days and we get through a next the, the next 30 days, we'll have another 1,000 and your list will start to compound. It'll start to build. And then we can use all those customers to generate repeat orders and cross sales and reviews and ranking and all the stuff that we talked about today. So that's a great, great bonus. You cannot get this anywhere else. I don't know anybody else who has access to this. So getting the order data out of your account is um, is really, really hard to do and we can do it. And we're gonna give this to you as a bonus today. So just to be clear, if I were to buy this inside of our program, Audience Alliance access is $2,000 per month and Amazon customer order data is a $2,000 one-time charge. Anytime you wanna download the data, it's two grand. Do it as many times as you want, but we're gonna give it to them free if they yep. book a call here today. Is that what you're telling me? That's what I'm telling you. No wonder these spots are going. All right, guys, let's switch back over to show how many spots are available. Uh, I think it was like 37. So let's get a, a real time figure here, Tracy and Dylan. Go ahead and shift gears here. Okay, there we go. So we got 30. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Slow down there. <laughs> All right. Looks like we have 27. Holy smokes, guys. Give me a. All right. We have 23 spots available. So we have 23, over half of these call spots are gone now, Seth. And I want to make sure this is accurate because we don't want to do 51. So if we have, every time we get a call come in, guys, I want you guys to change this figure. I mean, we get a spot booked. I actually went in there, Seth, and uh, I'm trying to see what is available. And it looks like yeah. right now, uh, the soonest available is going to be, oh, there's still some availability on February 1st, buddy. And then we have uh, February 2nd. That's right around the corner. So there are some still prime, still some prime time call slots available for those of you who haven't grabbed one yet. Looks like we have 18 left, Seth. This is exciting, right? Yep. PPPcall.com. Yes. If you're one of the first 50, you get those uh, bonuses that we talked about. And we have 18 spots left, Seth. Yeah, I was just trying to double check um, a few notes on my side for some questions that we're having. Let's see here. We have... Um... Question from, oh, from Tim. Tim, I'd love to uh, continue that conversation. Looks like we talked um, eight months ago and then we uh, we were full for a while. So I'd love to chat about that, Tim. Um, sounds good. Let's see. We had another couple questions. People saying, give me a call. No, actually just grab the call spot right here at this link, pppcall.com. Make sure you guys are good. People are dropping their phone numbers in the chat box there, Sean. Uh -oh. I don't think that's going to work, guys. You got to go to pppcall.com, select a uh, date on the calendar and the time of your call, and then uh, you'll get an email notification. Or an yep, email I just dropped calendar. the link um, in the chat box for you guys sending me your phone number. Just grab the uh, grab the link there and then just pick your pick your date. What we're going to do on the call is do a deep dive into your brand, your goals, um, and your products to see... Um, what experience we have in your niche and in your category and make sure that it's a good fit. And then if we um, determine that we can help, then we'll go back and put something together for you and show you kind of what we would do and, and uh, give you the whole strategic plan. And then if you want us to execute it, we can. Um, but if you want to do it, then by all means, you can as well. So um, essentially, it's a, it's a deep dive into your account, your products. We'll figure out what's going on, what the opportunity is, what strategy we would employ if we were going to do it, um, and then show you what that would um, be from a pricing perspective for us to handle it all for you, um, or you know, give you the roadmap so then you can do it yourself. Hey, Seth, um, if you would take a, take a break here. We have nine spots left. Yep. Uh, for those of you who have already booked a call with us, uh, just let me know who you are in the chat box. Just say booked. Type booked in the in the chat box if you already got your call booked. And if you want to talk about it, I would love to bring you on here live. And uh, if you have a microphone, uh, you can ask any questions you might want to ask. Let's do a, let's do a live talk, Seth. Okay. We have Drew um, said book, Nicole, uh, Daisy, Ruben, David, Adam, Samantha, uh, Richard, all saying booked. So let's. See if we can mic these people up. Maria. Um, all right. So let's start at the top here. Um, so Drew, um, would you like to come on and have a little chat? Let me see if I can get you to unmute. 
If you guys have a mic, just type Mike, M I C. And uh, just, if you want uh, to talk. I just hit uh, a lot of talk for Drew. Drew, are you with us? I, I'm trying to be with you. There you hey, are, Drew. <laughs> hey, cool. <laughs> Where are you calling in from, buddy? Nashville. Nashville. Okay. Guitar City or Music City, right? <laughs> yep. That's what they say. I love everything about it except for your Titans. But anyway, we'll save that for another day. <laughs> I don't even like them all that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, I'm a Colts fan. You know, we're in the same division, so yeah, can't I can't uh, be a, a Titans fan. So, uh, what what made you decide to pull the trigger today and book a call with us? Uh, I, you know, I I um, I'm bootstrapping my business, so I don't have a lot of extra money. But this understandable makes perfect sense to me. I've been marketing all my life, uh, not online, but online in the last year. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to ask you about your cloning. Uh, yeah, please. Is that your favorite strategy today? Yeah, it kind of is. And I, you, I got teased with it back when you did your 23, uh, uh, seminar, okay. but I never really, um, you know, took it all the way. So you say create a new UPC code, I guess, and re-sticker. That would be something we would do, not Amazon, right? Right, Drew. So you can't can't have Amazon do it because they'll get confused. And yeah. if you just sent your inventory there, they would say, oh, this is um, this is product number one. Let me just scan it into listing number one, where you want them to scan it in and check it into listing number two. So you'll just buy a new UPC code, um, load it into Amazon. When you create your new listing, they'll give you a new barcode. You'll use your barcode yourself and re-sticker it, or you can have your 3PL do it. It doesn't matter, but you have to sticker over that existing one. Otherwise, when they start to check it in, they'll just get confused and put it in the wrong listing. Gotcha. So yep. this would be on replenishing stock. You would do this. Exactly. I don't um, feel bad, Drew. A lot 